Hello and Merry Christmas. I am home in Detroit, uh, where I'm from, and I'm visiting, and no trip to Detroit would be complete without a visit to my favorite place, Somerset Mall. Um, I know times have changed, but growing up as a kid, I was definitely a mall rat. And this mall, this side of the mall expanded, I'll show you, in 1996, and it opened, and ever since then, my friends and I would come here like every weekend, and then as we got older and could drive, we were here like every day, so let's come check it out. Detroit might uh, experience like rough times these days, but uh, it's really an influential, important part of American history. And uh, actually, Detroit in the 20s, I believe, was the richest city in the entire planet. Uh, center of industry, automotive industry, manufacturing, um, really got America going. And you'll find that even to today, while things have changed a lot here, people from Detroit are extremely, extremely passionate. and. I find it rare, maybe New York City being the only other place I go where people are more passionate about where they're from. Here in Detroit you see everyone wearing Detroit shirts, Detroit hats, and everywhere you go is all about Detroit. So when I was a kid this was the uh, the license plate, like all the cars are like blue and white. And then um, I guess it was the bicentennial, or what was it? Uh, 100 years of automotive, yeah, that's what it was. So the automobile turned 100 years old, they had this like special, oops, this special edition plate. And so like everyone could get it for that year and then after that they started making all these like, uh, like ones with like the bridges and stuff and now that, you know, everyone has all of these weird plates. But I remember when first seeing plates turn from this to like designs, it was really cool. And this one was, I think this is the one right now still. So the Pistons were good in like the early 90s and then they were like terrible and this was their logo when they were bad and the tickets were so cheap so all my friends and I would go and we went to so many games because you could get in for like 10 bucks. Grant Hill and Bison Daily, that's another interesting story. So this is the, uh, the Skywalk here at Somerset Mall. The, there are two sides to the mall. The first side, I think it's actually Fifth Avenue, dates back to somewhere like uh, the 1960s maybe. And it's a really fancy like upscale mall that's been here my whole life. And in 1996 when they built the second half, this is like the, the mainstream like kind of big side of the mall with all the stores that you'd be familiar with. Over here is, is definitely a little bit more upscale, but we'll check it out for sure. Not really sure what this is about, but this mall's just got some uh, fancy stuff here. Anyone who knows me knows I know nothing about fashion, as you can see right here. So we're walking by the store. And it's so bright, I want to see how much these shoes are. How much do you think they are? Four ninety-five. I'm sure somebody watching knows what Golden Goose is, but these shoes are absurd. They they look beat up. I don't see the price in this, but probably the same thing, $500. Interesting. Oh, here we go, Kara. All right. I love these. All right, we're finishing up. Uh, security on the uh, fancy side asked us not to film anymore, so we decided to be nice and just 
finish up. So here's our haul. This is my new item. Check that out. That's badass. It's like a rust color. That's really cool. And then Kara, what do you get? The Detroit Shifter. Detroit Tigers colors. There you go. That's some that's some real Detroit right there. Well, since we're finished up, uh, we're actually going to put a little bonus here. We're going to go to one of our other favorite spots on the way home real quick. So let's go. So Detroit holds a lot of history, the Rust Belt and all its relics. And of those relics, this is one of my favorite, the hamburger stand. Even in my lifetime, there were more of these than there are now. And there are only a few left. Um, You'll see these some here. I think there's some in Chicago, um, maybe hidden throughout the Rust Belt, Cleveland, Ohio. I don't know, but right on Woodward Avenue. This is one of the best, actually the best, if you ask me, Hunter House hamburgers. Let's go get some. few times we've come here it's been closed inside for like takeout only uh, but now it's finally open again and it's completely packed right now so uh, we're both vegetarian but there's a secret vegetarian item that I'll show you that's well I don't know if it counts as vegetarian because it's cooked on the same grill but it's, it's quite good so I'll show you after all right so the thing here is they serve sliders little burger sliders with onions, pickles, and mustard, and you usually order three or four of them, but if you're a vegetarian, they have grilled cheese here, and you can get a grilled cheese with the mustard, onions, and pickles, and honestly, it's probably better than the, uh, the burgers, in my opinion. Not the, uh, not the world's healthiest meal, but very delicious. Never, uh, never disappoints. So thanks Hunter House. One of my all-time favorites right here in Birmingham, Michigan. Used to spend a lot of time. We're back again soon. <laughs>